Reality is always better than expectation when it comes to Chef Mark's food. So what has inspired you mm. uh, from the food show to create today then, Mark? Well, we've got some fantastic ingredients here. So we've got these beautiful lamb shanks yeah. um, and we've got some turmeric bread as well. Oh, I love a bit mm. of turmeric and everything. And it's gluten-free. So lamb shanks, turmeric bread. So we're going to mix it up and we're going to do Thai braised lamb shanks. But don't they usually take ages to make though? Well, they certainly do, but that's why I uh, made some Excellent. for the show. Something you prepared yes. earlier. Oh, I'm looking forward <laughs> to tasting that. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen as we celebrate the food show being on at the ASB Showgrounds today and throughout the weekend. And we've been gifted some amazing produce from the exhibitors at the show to create delicious dishes all week. It's been very exciting. This is the final recipe and we're using the amazing lamb shanks from the Home Ground Farm Fresh Meats Whole Gourmet Lamb Boxes. That was an impressive box, wasn't That's it? That's fantastic. Arrived. Look at it. Beautiful. You can get that delivered to your door. We'll give you details a little later on. But we're going to be using the lamb shanks from that box today. And you've already you've got them pre-prepared, haven't you? But you're going to show us how to get them ready when we cook them at home. Well, this is the best thing about it. You know, you, you've, you've got a whole lamb, half a lamb. It's all yeah. in a box, but it's all in little packets like this. You know, it's all been taken down, expertly butchered. Brilliant. It's fantastic. Yum. And Dion and Ali, who run the farm that uh, produce this meat, they really care about where their meat is from, how it's grown, how it's bred. And you can follow them on Instagram and Facebook because everyone wants to know where their meat is coming from nowadays. So that yeah. is a great addition to their business practice. Award-winning farmers, by the way. Exactly. Okay. Right, I've got a... Got a pot on here, so a nice deep casserole dish, nice, nice bit of oil in there. You brown and, them off? Yeah, and we're going to yeah. brown the lamb shanks off. So whatever you're going to do, if you're going to braise lamb shanks, you know, brown them off, get some really good flavour on there. Nice high heat. Is it about locking the flavour in or is it about making them look pretty? Uh, nice. Well, it makes it look pretty as well, no, but then cool. it gives it flavour as well. Okay, nice. You know? Sweet. Right, so... What else you got going on this year? So whilst, busy today, whilst, aren't you? Yeah, whilst we're browning, so yeah. there's a tip for you now. So if you're going to do four lamb shanks, you'll be able to fit four in there and braise it all together. Yeah. But just do two at a time, OK? Because if you put too many in there, you know, you're going to lose the heat. You're not going to get that nice brown colour. OK, good. So what we're going to do, you keep an eye on that. I'll so turn them, them, get a nice get a nice colour. All right, pass me a fork then, Chef. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Do the other way around. And right, and then I'm gonna, I've got some rice here. So I've got a little bit of water in here. I've got some um, basmati rice. We're just going to bring that to the boil. And yep. a little tip for you as well. Um, kaffir lime leaf, if you've got some of these uh, kicking around, if you've got a bush outside or you've got some in the freezer, you know, just tear it, screw it up, and chuck that in with your rice. And as it cooks, you get this beautiful sort of perfume flavour. Nice. Good nice tip. little tip. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. So you get your, um, you know, a nice... Uh, a nice little edge on your rice, you know, make it interesting. Okay, good. Right, good. so I'm just going to get some um, ingredients ready now whilst we're browning. Mm -hmm. So I've got some shallots. Yeah. So I'm just going to slice that. Nice. And I've got a little bit of garlic as well and some chilies. You like chilies? Okay, yeah, I do. yeah, well, not really. But <laughs> the good thing is, is that I'm getting used to your cooking with chilies. So really, you're starting to enjoy it. A bit of garlic. Yeah, smash a little bit it. of garlic. So just smash that. You know, and you can be sort of quite rustic now. You know, so we're going to cook this for a couple of hours, or if you've got a pressure cooker at home, you can speed up the time. You can do it in about an hour or so, okay? And it's all going to cook together, so you just want to get all the flavours out there. You know, you've got a nice bit of texture in the sauce. How's the lamb? Yeah, it's looking good. You know, when I was learning more about homegrown farm fresh meat, I found out that farmers don't eat the male lamb. Did really? you know that? You sell, that, sell that to all the restaurants. Yeah, you know what? It's just better for you, the, the female side, so... Uh, it's a nice texture, beautiful and flavour. Oh, it's got great flavour. I love it. I, I really like this lamb. Yeah, because apparently the male hormones in lamb change the taste. So this is how good these guys are at farming. They really care about absolutely everything. And the good thing is, when you get a lamb box, you can choose to get all sorts of different boxes. A half a lamb or a whole lamb, they'll cater it to your family. They also do beef as well. And the box is available, the traditional box. It's all about your roast. We've got the barbecue box, which is lots of chops, and a gourmet box. So if you want to know where your food is coming from, it's always good to check out Homegrown Farm Fresh Meats. That is the produce we are using today from the Auckland Food Show. And we'll get to see the next steps to create the lamb shanks and hear more about the bread we're about to use, the Dovedale Paleo Turmeric Gluten-Free Bread, which we'll be serving up a little later on. We're going to finish off these braised lamb shanks. Everything's smelling and looking incredible here, Mark. Right there, your lamb shanks. Nice. So nice bit of colour on there, on, on all sides. Yep. We've uh, left the oil in the pan, so we can use that as flavour in there. Okay, some of the lamb, the, the lamb flat uh, yep. fat there. Um, we'll give it some flavour. So we're shallots, garlic, garlic, shallots. Yep. So you're just going to start sweating that down. 
And that's going to help release some of the uh, sediment on the bottom of the pan as well, yeah. which is all flavour. See that um, happening? Yeah, there you go. Kaffir lime goes in. Nice. Some green chilli. And you rip them before you put them in? Yeah, yeah. rip them before you to go expose in. Expose your flavour. Right, and then I've got some coriander stalks as well. So these are just the stalks, so the bottom parts of your coriander um, plant. Chop them up. The root as well you can put in if you've got okay. the root. And then that's just going to give us some flavour. Don't put the uh, the little leaves in at the moment. We'll put them in the right at the end. Soft herb, so it's just going to go brown, lose all the flavour. So we'll save that to the end. And this is the, the Thai part of this dish, really, isn't it? Yes. Nice. And it smells so good. Speaking about Thai ingredients, we've got a red curry paste. Brilliant. So we're going to pop that in as well. Yep. So that goes in. And then you can just roast that just in the pan, just for a minute or two, you know, with the shallots, the garlic, and the chilies. Oh, releasing the flavours exactly. fast. My goodness. OK, smelling good. OK, this is pretty easy to put together, isn't it? Yeah, it, uh, one pot wonder as well. Yeah, That's nice. really good, but we're just building all those flavours up in there. Right now, I've got a bit of uh, chicken stock. Okay. That goes in for some uh, cooking liquid. Nice. A little bit of fish sauce. Mm -hmm. Goes in there. Brilliant. Uh, squeeze a lime in there, fresh lime. Okay. And then some coconut milk. And we're going to bring all that to the boil. And that is going to be the liquid we're going to braise our shanks with. So you can put the, pop the shanks back in. Okay, cool. That's all good that. now. Okay, nice. Okay, one shank there. There you go. There. And then any any juices from the shanks, like we've yep. taken them out, pop all that in as well. Okay, That's all cool. flavour. Flavour, flavour. Okay, good. There you go. Bring it up to the boil, pop a lid on it, and then just slow cook it for a sort of two, two and a half, three hours until it's nice and tender, or as we said before, pressure cooker for around about an hour, and then you'll be eating these. And how are we going to use the bread? We've got we going to toast here. it. We're going to toast it. Yep. And this this bread here, absolutely incredible. It's paleo turmeric bread. It's gluten free, grain free, and dairy free, and also egg free, but definitely not taste free. It's delicious. Uh, and I just want to eat a little bit right now. So we, are we going to toast it? Yeah, we're going to toast it. Mm. But I mean, you can just eat it like that. And it's you, you know, know it's a great it's ingredient. Like Look at the colour. So Look good. at the colour of it. Mm. It's awesome. Mm, it's so good. But it's, you know, you wouldn't normally think of putting, um, you know, bread with, um, you know, lamb shanks to start with. No. But, you know, you're going to have all this beautiful, rich um, sauce in there, and it's just going to mop it all up. So, you, you know, if you don't want to toast it, you can just dip it in. And the turmeric will go really well with it as well. Um, former bachelor, Art Green, has been trying to get me paleo for the last two and a half years, so... There you go, Art. I've started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, of course, Dubdale are going to be at the food show. And you can go and see the team there at the Auckland Food Show, which is on right now at the ASB Showgrounds. You'll get to see the Dovedale team. You'll also get to see Homegrown Farm Meats. Plus, you can get tips from Chelsea Winter, Nadia Lim, Simon Galt and more. For all the details, go to thefoodshow.co.nz. Sorry, I'm eating while I'm talking. <laughs> and this is a very clever dish, the Thai braised lamb shanks. They smell amazing. Well done, Mark. And of course, inspired by the Food Show Auckland, which you don't want to miss out on, head down to the ASB Showgrounds today and over the weekend. For details, go to foodshow.co.nz. And what are you doing on Monday? Well, Monday, I've got fish fingers and real British mushy Ooh. things.